Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to another video. My name is Kristen, this is Intentional Living, and today we are doing my last cash envelope stuffing for the year of 2021. It is wild to me that we are already at the end of the year, but we are, and I'm going to be doing my side hustle cash stuffing for the final two weeks of December. I just got back from my trip to Massachusetts to visit some family, and I made some money while I was away. The first thing I got paid out for is YouTube for the month of November, and I brought in $715.87, so we'll be stuffing $715 of that. Fetch Rewards, I cashed out $100 worth of Amazon gift cards, so we'll be stuffing prop money for that. You'll see where I put that in a minute. And then I got a $1,000 work bonus through my full-time job for the end of the year, and then I underspent for some different spending um, throughout the year or throughout my trip to home to Massachusetts, and I underspent by $200, so we're stuffing that as well. So our total today is 2015 that we are stuffing. It's going to be a big one. All right, so here we should have 2015. Let's fan it out for a quick thumbnail. Got some crisp tens today. All right, so we have a $1,000 placeholder. So 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 570, 90, 610, 630, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 750, 770, 790, 810, 8. 20, 830, 840, 850, 860, 870, 880, 890, 900. So 1900. And 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. So 1985, 86, 7, 8, 9, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2000, 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 2015. So let's combine some of these here. Okay. So that is what we are stuffing today and we are going to start with my business binder and I'm only stuffing taxes with from my YouTube paycheck and 30% of that was 215 so we are going to put $215 away so we'll do 100, 200, 10, and a 5, so 215. So now in taxes, we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 in the bank, 5,100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 7,000, no, 6,000, 6,000 and 1, 2, 3, 400, 10, 15. So 6,415 should be what we have here. Yes, and that is correct. A lot of money. <laughs> so we're just going to put that back in here. And then products, we are going to add 100 and I'm going to put a prop $100 bill in here for that. So we have, uh, cause I'm gonna use my Fretch Reward Amazon gift cards for this, but it's still part of my business payout, I guess, for my YouTube paycheck, but I don't use Amazon gift cards in my personal life all that much, but I use it a lot in my business. So I hope that makes sense. But we have 100, 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So 118 in products, which is good because I need to relaunch my shop in a few weeks. Next up is equipment, which is going to get $20. So we will just have $70 in equipment. And then in shipping, we are adding 40 today, 20 and 40. So 
Oops. We have 100, 120, 140, 150, 155, 156, 7, 8, and 159 in shipping. We need to order that as well. Office today is going to get $10. So we have 20, 30, 35, and 36 in office. Marketing is going to get $25, and I want to say a big thank you for getting me to 5,000 subscribers on YouTube here. So I will be doing a 5,000 subscriber giveaway. I will announce the specifics of that in a future video, so be on the lookout. But thank you all so much, and it will be a really good prize, so definitely subscribe if you have not already. So now in marketing, we have 50, 70, 90, 95, and 100. And I will need some fives later, so I'm going to just put these two fives down and take a ten. So, that's all good. And then in bills, I'm going to add $20 today, but I'm going to add $10 to two different categories. So, QuickBooks, we still have money because I haven't purchased that yet, but I need to. So, I have 100, 50, 70, 90, 200, 205, 206, and 207. And then I'm going to be adding $10 to my P.O. box because that is coming up in April. And then I'm adding $20 to Amazon because that is coming up in April also. I need to review these tabs. So we just added $20. So we have $227 in there for bills. Okay. And that's going to be it for my business binder. Next, we are going to do my cash envelopes and sinking funds. So we will get started with this binder. We are going to start with books. The goal today was to kind of round out some envelopes before I do my condensing, which I think is my next video. So we're adding one, two, three, and four dollars to books. So now we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 dollars in books, which is nice. Clothes is going to get $8 today, so we'll do a five and three ones for five, six, seven, eight. Now we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. So, $70 in clothes. Oops. Then date night, we have five. So I'm gonna put a five in here. We have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. And date night is good. Electronics is going to get 10 today. So we're going to put in $10 and we have 100, 200, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So $245. And we added 10 today. So that means we can fill out half of this one and half of the next one. So we are making some good progress on this emergency fund for electronics. I will definitely be continuing to save for that in the new year. Fitness and wellness is just getting $1. So it has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in there. I have a full tank right now, so I'm not adding anything to gas. And in gas, we have 20, 40, 50, 55, and 60. So we'll just leave that be. Giving today is going to get $9. So we will do five and four ones. One, two, three, four. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So we have 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. A lot of ones in this one. So $40 in giving. Going out is going to get $5. Um, I don't have a five. So let's put down a five and take a 10. So now we have 100, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So 125. I'm going out. Household is also going to get five. So again, I'll put down a five and take a 10. So we have 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55 in the household, which is for just like different things I need around the house. I need more face wash, so that might come out of here. Medical is at 321 and we are not stuffing it, but I do need to spend this a little bit down by the end of the year or I don't know, in early next year. Self-care is going to get 10. So we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 in there. And then spending is our last cash envelope and that is going to get $4. So one, two, three and four. So this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Right here. Plus an Amazon gift card. So that is going to be it for this. So nice round numbers for when I go to condense my sinking funds. Um, I don't like having ones if I don't need to have them. Next up is my yellow sinking funds binder. And we are going to start off with birthdays today, which is going to get a whopping $4. So we have one, two, three, and four. And I believe my first birthday is in February. So we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So that's good. Future is going to, oh wait, family is first, is going to get $10. I did spend, spend a little bit of money from this while I was home with my family. So now we have 10, 15, and 20 now. I just got back today. I forget if I've already said that. And I have a lot of videos to film between today and tomorrow for my December wrap up and my January kickoff. So I'm excited to get those filmed ASAP. That'll be exciting. Future today is gonna get 20, which is exciting. So we have 100, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. So 150 in the future. This fund is for, you know, any future expenses I might have, um, like big expenses. I just like that I can start putting money aside so that it's not as much of a burden whenever that comes. So that is what this is for. No purpose in mind, but I'm sure the purpose will make itself known when it's time. Okay, so this envelope needs some work. So anniversary, this money I need to go and put on my credit card. So I can take, honestly, this whole tab out. And then New Year's Eve is still coming. So I think I'm gonna roll Black Friday into New Year's Eve. So let's do that. And then I'm gonna have a tracker for this one. And then I'm gonna add 10 today to holidays. So now in New Year's Eve, which I'm leaving for tomorrow, <laughs> is has 100, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, and 66. So 166, my boyfriend and I are gonna go shopping tonight for a few things. So I'll probably start using this tonight. And I literally just got back from a COVID test. I waited an hour and a half in line um, on this road to get a COVID test. It was absolutely wildly busy. So I should get those results tomorrow morning. And then if I'm negative, I'll be going on this New Year's trip tomorrow. So planner is getting five. So we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. 
subscriptions isn't getting anything because it is capped at $30. That is for a razor subscription that I get. And then vacation today is the most exciting, I think. Well, not the most, one of the most exciting because it is getting $25 and that will make this fully operation vacation fully funded. I shouldn't say the envelope fully funded because I don't know if it ever will be fully funded, but because I don't really have like an end goal. But now we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 500. So I finished Operation Vacation, which is amazing. And honestly, next year I will probably just start it all over again so I can get to a thousand in vacation. So today is 12, 28, 21. And we are done with that tracker. <laughs> But I'm sure we will do something else in the new year. You will find out in a future video. So that's exciting. Volleyball is going to get $4. So one, two, three, and four. So now we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, and 95. I will be paying a new registration fee really soon, probably this week. And that should be enough. Weddings and Babies is going to get 20 today, which is exciting. I don't usually put that much. So we have 100, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 55. So 155. So we get to fill out 5, 15, and then half of this one. Gotta get back on track with this so I don't have to do half hearts and half cell phones and things. But that is exciting. A good ending balance for the year for this one. And then one week ahead is going to get $20 also because the next five week month for me is going to be in January. So now we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So 125. So I just need 40 more dollars and we will be good to go in here. And then that is it for this binder. I'm going to have an extra dollar and I wanted to keep all my envelopes like clean. So we're gonna put a dollar in my $1 challenge envelope just to not mess with the breakdown. We don't count that one. And now we will move on to Big Blue. So I'm gonna fix this set up. Okay, car maintenance we are not stuffing and it has 575. Christmas we are not stuffing and it is at zero dollars because I um, did go a little over budget with Christmas but I underspent in my weekly spending so I just used my weekly spending to cover my slight overspending. I only overspent for like $59 or $58 or something like that so I did um, transfer my all this money was in a savings account and I transferred it to pay off my credit card and we are at zero dollars now. So that's exciting. So that's empty. And today moving is going to get $35. So let's pull this out. So 20, 30, and then let's do one, two, three, four, and five. So we get to add in $35. So by doing that, we have 100, 200 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300. Yep, 300. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. So $335. Yep. And we can fill in full box and then three quarters of this one so that's good and then seasonal activities today is going to get ten dollars and we are stuffing spring so 
we will just put $10 in here. And now we have 15. Wish I had a pretty yellow highlighter for this one, but I don't. So 15 in spring, winter is fully funded. So that means we have 115 in this one. Okay, so we have all this money left and that is because a lot of it is going towards my student loans. So today we are adding $1,280 and that is because of my bonus check. So we get to put in $1,250, a 50, a 20, and a 10. So we have 1,000, 1, 2, 50, 70, 80. So 1,280. And I'm doing it in prop money because I already transferred it to my savings account. So now in student loans, we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 in the bank. One, two, three, four hundred in the bank also. So 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 4,000. 4,100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, 570, 590, 600, 610, 25. So 6,625 dollars. Sorry, 4,625 dollars. I don't know where I got 6,000. And y'all, that means that I officially have enough money to pay off the rest of my student loans that are unpaid. So that means once I make my debt payment, I will be officially debt free. So I will be debt free in 2021, which I did not think was possible. My goal was just before forbearance ended and it ended up getting extended, but I'm going to go ahead and pay it off and we are going to do that together and I'll insert a clip right here. Okay y'all, moment of truth. These are my two loans that I have left. And this is my total amount, $4,624.32. And y'all saw me save $4,625. So I'm going to make the payments for both of these and pay them off. Okay, I have it all loaded in and I'm gonna submit. I'm gonna submit it! Yes. Bye. No, I'm scared. <laughs> ah. Okay. Click. Oh, I thought that was an error. <laughs> I just said please allow you to through four business days. Yay! Yay we did it. Woo! No more debt. You did that. Now I'll just take a video at some point of it being zero dollars to prove it's real. Yay! Sorry, sorry for interrupting your video. That's no, okay. Proud of you. Thank you. Good work. Okay, I did it, but it's not showing the zero dollar satisfying piece, so I will put that in a future video for us all to see it and enjoy it. So I'm so excited to do that. You've already seen me do it, but at this moment I have not yet done it. But thank you so much for coming along my journey. It's been so great to share it with you and I'm so, 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 so excited. So last things last, we should have $80 left to stuff in my box. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, and 80. So we don't have a lot of change. So let's see what we pull. Five, let's not do that. Let me put that back. Five, okay, let's not do that. Five, okay, really? 20, okay. Twenty. Let's pull another forty. Twenty forty. So we have twenty dollars left, I think. Yeah. So I can do twenty or less. Five. I don't have a five. 
40, I don't have enough. 20, great, 10, 20. So that is going to be it for this video. We still have three envelopes, which is great. And let's see how many we have left. So we have one, two, three, four. Six fifty seven. So not quite halfway through, but almost. I didn't start this that long ago either, so it's really wild. So thank y'all for watching my last cash envelope stuffing for 2021. I have so, so, so many updates for y'all. So many that are coming in future videos. So please keep watching. I will be posting a video pretty much every day until like January 5th or something like that. So, so much content for, for y'all um, to finish up this year and to start the next year. So stay tuned check out my next one because it is also going to be a really good one and I'm going to be counting my coin challenge so I didn't quite fill my mason jar but I'm still going to be counting it and rolling it and taking it to the bank so stay tuned for that as well so that is it for me y'all and I will catch you in my next video bye